Hello everybody, welcome to a tropical update here. This is the wide read lunch week right now. Only really one thing to talk about here. Um, that of course is Hurricane Iota uh, in the Central Caribbean uh, continuing to strengthen here um, quickly. And we also uh, just quickly mentioned we got a post-tropical cyclone uh, Theta that recently turned into a post-tropical cyclone earlier this afternoon. Um, and again, absolutely no threat to uh, the United States or probably Europe at this point in time now. But to take a look at the big story, at, at least worldwide at this point, and that is, of course, Hurricane Iota. As of the 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Advisory 11, the center of Iota is currently located at 13.3 degrees north, 80.2 degrees west. Again, 13.3 degrees north, 80.2 degrees west. Maximum stay moment of winds at 105 miles per hour, which makes this a Category 2 equivalent hurricane. We're in due west at 10 miles per hour. And there is uh, a hurricane warning in effect for, I believe that's uh, San Andreas Island there. And an island to its south is under a, tro a, a tropical storm warning and a hurricane watch there. And then uh, pretty much most of, uh, or probably all of, of northeast Nicaragua here is under a hurricane warning. And then also pretty much all of uh, extreme northeastern Honduras is under a hurricane warning with parts of um, uh Honduras and Nicaragua being under a, a tropical storm warning, uh, as well as you can see in this graphic here. Um, let's take a look at the key messages from the National Hurricane Center for Hurricane Iota here. And uh, let me go ahead and read them for you. Iota is expected to continue to rapidly intensify and become an, uh, become an extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane when it approaches the coast of Central America on Monday. Potentially catastrophic winds and life-threatening storm surge are expected along portions of the coasts of northeastern Nicaragua and eastern Honduras, where a hurricane warning is in effect. Number two, hurricane conditions are expected and storm surge impacts are possible on Providencia later tonight and Monday. Tropical storm conditions are expected and hurricane conditions are possible on San Andres there. So it looks like I, I mixed up my, uh, my islands there, so that the top one is Providencia and then the bottom one is San Andreas there. So I apologize for that, um, on my, because I'm not really too good on my geography down here, of course. Uh, number three here, through Thursday, through Friday morning, heavy rainfall from Iota will likely lead to life-threatening flash flooding and river flooding across portions of Central America. Flooding and mudslides in Honduras and Nicaragua could be exacerbated by Hurricane Ida's recent effects there resulting in significant, potentially catastrophic impacts. And this is really strong wording here from the National Hurricane Center. And this is the English version of the key messages here. Here's the Spanish version as well. Uh, so you can stop the right now and uh, read this uh, if you want to. But really strong word in here from the National Hurricane Center here. Um, we really need to be taking this hurricane seriously. Um, if you don't take Ida seriously, please take this one seriously. You sort of learned your lesson here with Ida. Um, please take this situation seriously. It's really unfortunate um, how we're dealing with another uh, potentially major hurricane at landfall here over Nicaragua. Uh, not even about two weeks um, before, not even two weeks uh, from, from the date... Um, Hurricane Ida made landfall in the same general area um, as a Category 4 hurricane. So really take this system seriously. Uh, here's what the storm looks on water vapor imagery right now. Just, just gives you a wider perspective of things here. And uh, man, you can really see that ice trying to clear out in the last few frames there. Um, and if it does end up clearing, then I mean, all bets are off, really. Uh, nothing could really uh, weaken the storm unless it has internal issues, like maybe an eyewall replacement cycle that might weaken it uh, by maybe a few miles per hour, maybe 10 15 miles per hour for a or temporary period, depending on if it completes it before or at landfall. Um, so, like I said, really, the only things that I could see weakening it at this point, and please correct me if I'm wrong here, but the only things that I could see weakening it at this point is its structure, if it has, say, an eyewall placement cycle, or just land itself, really, uh, when it makes landfall here. So, this is a really uh, dangerous and life threatening uh, hurricane we're talking about here. And this is water vapor run through here, and it gives you just a wider perspective of things. You can see just how big of an influence uh, moisture in, uh, the moisture field has on this particular uh, hurricane, just how big that is. Here's a close-up infrared imagery here, and you can really see, again, those last few frames that I really trying to clear out there. Um, I'm, I'm going to dread to see what I wake, wake up to tomorrow morning here, to be honest with you. Um, this is... Uh, going to be another bad storm, unfortunately, for most of the same areas that got impacted heavily by a major hurricane, either, like I said, not even probably two weeks ago here. So really unfortunate to see this happening um, yet again for them. Here's meso imagery as well. Just to, again, stress the point, this how this this uh, 
how serious this, this system is here. It's just really, um, again, incredible. And this is Metal Sky in Madrid. I just have it sped up a little bit here. Um, this is one minute. Go 16 in Madrid here. Let me see if I could uh, increase the frame number on there. Um, I know it starts off in Kentucky, and it moves back over uh, Iota there. Um, so, again, really a, a serious uh, hurricane here. Um, and please take this system seriously. Uh, I played with you. Please take this seriously. It's not a, it's not a joke here. Uh, this is not maybe a run of the mill, maybe weak tropical storm or, or maybe weak hurricane. Uh, we're talking about this is potentially a catas uh, catastrophic category four hurricane landfall. Um, we're potentially looking at here, and I could easily change it. This could be a little bit higher at landfall. This could be a little bit lower at landfall. Hopefully lower, but um, again, I don't really see much stopping it from getting becoming a, a strong category four at least landfall. We're talking about here. And then here's a quick look at post-tropical cyclone theta currently going on. Um, not going to really talk much about it. 30 mile an hour winds moving due north at 2 miles per hour. Um, forecast continuing moving due north. You can see satellite winds we have it right now. Uh, really doesn't look good at all here. Um, and here's wide vapor winds we here. And you can easily see why the National Hurricane Center declared this a uh, post-tropical cyclone. It's really nothing more other than maybe some high cirrus clouds at this point. Uh, really gone down here. And then switching basins, here's a look at Cyclone uh, Alicia currently going on in uh, the southwest Indian Ocean. Currently, it's a 65 knot or about 75 mile per hour equivalent category one cyclone in the southwest Indian Ocean. And unlike uh, Hurricane Iota, this storm is forecast to stay well away from land at this point. Um, might give some of the islands nearby maybe some increased or rip current, rip current risk or maybe increased tide. Uh, tried by maybe about a foot or two, but other than that, it shouldn't be really much of an issue for those islands. Um, so really fortunate to see, at least for this particular system, unlike Iota, uh, this is going to stay well away from land and only going to be a storm uh, that stays out to sea here. And this is, again, satellite imagery uh, of the storm. Here's what the storm looks like on, on the, the forecast cone. What it looks like, uh, 65 knots, which is, like, which is, like I said, equivalent to 75 miles per hour, which would make it a Category 1 equivalent storm. And you can see it stays well away from the land here. And Mauritius, Port um, Marathun, uh, I think that's how I'm saying it. I could be saying that right, uh, wrong there. And then well away from Diego Garcia there. Um, so really fortunate news on this end, at least, um, how this storm is not going to be impacting any land whatsoever. And then here's a wide view of uh, what the Joint Typhoon 1 and Center Outlook is here. And you can see, of course, uh, Tropical Cyclone o uh, O1S, also known as Alicia, right there. And you can also see Invest 93S, which has a high chance of formation into our next uh, pot potential tropical depression here in the southwest Indian Ocean. And then we got Tropical Storm Vamco, which has uh, pretty much dissipated here. We're, well, I think it actually has dissipated here um, over Vietnam, so that's m not really much of a threat. If it still is one at this point, it should be going away uh, really soon here. And this is the last warning from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center from a few hours ago. This is no longer, I could pretty much tell you with, with certainty here, uh, this is no longer a typhoon. And you, you could see in this uh, satellite image alone here why it's not a typhoon here. Um, so, uh, like I said, it's pretty much a remnant low up by this point. Um, still probably giving some gusty winds and maybe some scattered light rain, I would say, maybe to parts of uh, Vietnam here. But um, other than that, it's going to be uh, as bad as it was when it was making landfall here uh, yesterday. And here's water vapor winds as well. And you can just see just how really far uh, down the system's gone in terms of its organization here. Um, easily see why it's no longer uh, going to be marked by the Joint Typhoon 1 and here. And uh, that's pretty much going to be about it for this tropical update here. Um, that's uh, kind of a wrap of things here. Um, a little bit on the shorter side here compared to my last updates here. Um, but again, I really want to stress to you, um, well, first, a, a basic summary here. Uh, Post-tropical cyclone theta, no longer a threat for pretty much anybody here. Um, uh, in the southwest Indian Ocean, Cyclone Alicia, no threat to land at, at whatsoever here. Uh, Invest 93S. Um, from what I'm seeing, it shouldn't really be much of a threat to uh, anybody, but it could be wrong on that. I will see what happens if it does become a tropical depression, what the first forecast kind of looks for it. And of course, let, the, let you know if it does indeed actually threaten land, unlike Alicia, but um, let's hope not here. And of course, the big story, at least worldwide at this point, is uh, strengthening Hurricane Iota as it nears um, Central America here. Uh, forecast to be a Category 4 uh, hurricane here. Like I said, at this point, at least, I can easily change here, so don't you know, take this one update 
as you know it's going to going to 100 happen it's going to 100 be you know 140 mile per hour cat for like the national hurricane center is thinking uh that the uh, Forecast intensity can go a little bit higher or a little bit lower here, so we'll see about that. Um, hopefully, it's it's lower, but it could easily go uh, higher, at least in my opinion here. Um, so again, a really serious system for those of you guys in Central America. If you know anybody in Central America or know anybody in the path, and again, here's the path of uh, the hurricane here from the latest uh, National Hurricane Center update here. This is the latest path here. Uh, this little kind of uh, brownish color is the hurricane force wind radius, and this yellowy orange. Uh, color is the tropical storm force wind radius there to put that in perspective um, and again a really serious system here so if, again if you know anybody in Central America please let them know about this please make sure that they're safe and they're following in their local uh, officials over there and they're also following advice given by the National Hurricane Center here um, they're really trying to save your lives down there um, I know it's going to be pretty rough given how you guys just went through Ida but um, you got to go through this one, unfortunately, again. You got to go through another strong system here. Um, but uh, that's just how it is, unfortunately, this season. Um, again, please keep a close eye on what your local officials are saying here. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I have all the links down in the description below for all the websites that they use for this tropical update here. If you're curious to see what sites that I use and you want to see what, what uh, I used yourself here, um, Please take a look at that as well if you want to. Um, and again, that's going to be about it from for, for me for this tropical update here again. Central America, please keep them in, in your thoughts. If you're in Central America in the path of this, please take this seriously. And please, if you haven't prepared already, you're running out of time quickly here as the system nears you. So again, that's pretty much going to be about it for me. Hope everybody has a great Thursday night wherever you guys are. Stay safe, of course. Until then, see you guys in the next video. Peace.